You took them to a restaurant. <laughs> Ruth Chris. Little napkins. Yeah, you know, silverware, more than one fork. <laughs> How'd they do? Yeah, pretty well, considering. Did they embarrass us? Us? No. Uh, we're fine with it, but, uh, I mean, they were intimidated and embarrassed and awkward as hell, but it, it made it through. Miss Shepardson, these aren't the kids that are going to be able to sit still for the statewide tests, much less do well on them. These were the kids that were going to make it impossible for anyone else to do well. So we're writing them off? No, that's what we're not doing. You're not educating them. You're socializing them. They weren't being educated before. There's no point in being obtuse. Excuse me. Hold on. Hold on. Look, what he's saying is this. Uh, I mean, you put a textbook in front of these kids. Put a problem on a blackboard or teach them every problem on some statewide test. It won't matter. None of it. Because they're not learning for our world. They're learning for theirs. And they know exactly what it is they're training for and what it is everyone expects them to be. I expect them to be students. But it's not about you or us or the test or the system is what they expected themselves. I mean, every single one of them know they headed back to the corners. Their brothers and sisters, shit, their parents. They came through these same classrooms, didn't they? We pretend to teach them, they pretended to learn, and where, where they end up? Same damn corners. I mean, they're they, they not fools, these kids. They don't know our world, but they know their own. I mean, Jesus, they, they see right through us. I think we made that clear when you approved the project. Provisionally approved. When you provisionally approved the project, we made it clear that we would be addressing children that required socialization before they could be properly educated. We can't lie. Not to them.